Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update's video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our two active tropical cyclones across the North Atlantic. We have Sam and Victor, and we will also discuss the possibility for the Caribbean to have a tropical storm probably very soon as we're going to be heading further down into the month of October. And so before I go into details... Alright, so let us kickstart things with major Hurricane Sam. So looking at the satellite imagery of the hurricane, we're seeing here that it is looking a little bit compact that eye is not very symmetrical but this is a fairly healthy hurricane at this point and let's go on to the cone forecast for it and so we're seeing here that Sam has maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the north-northwest at 17 miles per hour so it is expected to remain a major hurricane through to tomorrow afternoon and the tropical storm warning is in effect for bermuda as of right now because uh, even though the center is going to be passing to the east of the island the cyclone is pretty big so some of those tropical storm force winds will be making their way on shore of bermuda and will bring some inclement weather to the island so if you're there please take the storm precautions and stay safe fortunately this is not going to be lingering around for a very very long time and so after that point uh sam is going to continue to weaken as it accelerates and increases in latitude and also the ocean temperatures will get cooler the wind shear is going to kick up so eventually uh we will have this system weakening and dissipating it's basically inevitable and so let's go on to tropical storm victor so this is a recent tropical cyclone and we're seeing here on satellite that it is looking a little compact it's not the very best right now and as we go on to that cone forecast from the national hurricane center we're seeing here that fortunately victor is going to be staying out to sea it is going to be considered a fish storm because it is basically going to be making its way out into the open waters of the atlantic and not being a threat to anywhere which is some really good news and so current winds of victor are 60 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northwest at 15 miles per hour and so we're seeing here that it is expected to remain as a tropical storm it was previously expected to strengthen into a hurricane but now the national hurricane center is not expecting that however uh, they're expecting peak intensity to be close to that of a category one hurricane peak winds of around 70 miles per hour are expected and i wouldn't be surprised if a uh, victor even manages to strengthen into a category one hurricane but weakening is going to be uh happening as we're going to be heading into the early part of the week as conditions are expected to get increasingly unfavorable and by wednesday it is forecast to become a post-tropical cyclone and so guys let us go ahead and move on to see how conducive conditions currently are so first up let's talk about ocean temperatures and ocean temperatures across the north atlantic basin are still fairly warm especially in the caribbean so even though uh as we're going to be heading further into the month of october and november systems generally emerge or develop from the south caribbean and make their way up to the north something what the gfs has shown and we will go to that very shortly and uh, Ocean temperatures are very, very conducive right now in the Caribbean. Just look at that, especially in the northwestern Caribbean, in the vicinity of Jamaica and Cuba and the Cayman Islands. Right in that region is an area of very favorable ocean waters. And so let us go on to the wind shear map. And so the different colors indicate the favorability of the shear. We have the green, that means favorable, the yellow, that means neutral, and the red, that means unfavorable. So currently, it's mainly unfavorable shear that is in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and parts of the main development region and just right in the vicinity of Sam as well. So this is going to be aiding in the weakening of the tropical cyclone because uh, that unfavorable wind shear is when those upper level winds kick up and that is what usually rip up the thunderstorms and prevent our systems from growing or intensifying much. And so let's finally take a look at the Saharan dust. So we're seeing here that we have Victor uh, that is in the vicinity of the Saharan dust. And so as we head, as you see those yellow shades of the dust is not very dense. But as we head to that dark orange and that red, that is when we have a lot of dust present. And this uh, makes conditions very hostile for any development to occur or intensification because it 
is dry air and tropical cyclones need moisture so with moisture being inhibited then we won't see much intensification or development of our tropical cyclone so this is going to be the reason uh, we don't have victor intensified into anything significant and also the fact that the wind shear might not be conducive in the vicinity of the cyclone and so as for sam sam is not in a region where there is a lot of saharan dust present but of course that shear is going to be taking its toll on the cyclone and so finally now let's go ahead and take a look at what the gfs model is predicting for the caribbean and so the model has been quite consistent for quite a while now on something developing and making its way up to the north so let's take a look at it so this is a map that shows the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and those are the black lines that you see so whenever you see them in a circular manner with the pressure being below 10 13 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be our tropical cyclones and so whenever you have the black lines being very very close to each other uh, that indicates that the gradient is very steep and usually means that the system is quite strong so this is by tuesday the 5th of october and so take a look just to the south southeast of jamaica we have that small area there of interest and so let's go on further to thursday of that week Week, which is October 7th and so we're seeing a 1002 millibar low pressure system uh, just south of Cuba or you could say to the north northwest of Jamaica and as we head to Friday the 8th of the month we're seeing that we have the system intensifying because we're seeing a decrease in pressure and whenever you have a decrease in the pressure it means the system is intensifying and so we have a 998 millibar low pressure system here in the northwestern Caribbean off the coast of Cuba and as we head to the 10th of the month GFS is showing that this is going to be making its way from Cuba crossing over the uh, the island and making its way over into the bahamas and we're seeing more of a decrease in pressure so this is potentially a hurricane at this point with this pressure of 983 millibars and so as we head to monday the 11th of october gfs is showing that this is going to be lingering off the coast of the u.s off the coast of uh, North Carolina and Virginia. So we're also seeing somewhat of a decrease in pressure. I believe the pressure right there is about nine uh, in the 970s. So that is an intensifying system because that is lower than 983. And we have that high pressure system to the east of it, which has steered it to the west. And so as you're going to head to the 13th, however, we see that that high pressure system weakens, uh, enabling the cyclone to resume its journey up to the northeast. It is going to be making its way out and not making its way into the US. So again, this is just what the GFS model is showing. This does not has to be the outcome for the next week or so, but it has been quite consistent with something developing as we're going to be heading near the middle part of the month. And so it is important that we keep tabs on the Caribbean and of course guys I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by and so that is really it for this update video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course I will keep you updated as time goes by